In this film I want to show you how to quickly uh, use a kind of a border effect on your image. Uh, there's lots of things that you can download, uh, some of them you'll create like the one you're seeing in front of you now, but really what we're looking to do is add a kind of a, um, a, a kind of a look and a feel to an image to add a better presentation whether it's for the likes of your website or Instagram or your portfolio pages whatever. Um, so as far as the kind of the uh, basics of what we've got to do, we've got to start with a border. It's a really quick process anyway, okay? So the first thing would be is that once you've created or downloaded a border film edge effect, uh, then all we need to do is really actually add an image to it. So uh, in this case, I can just go and grab a photograph, drag it into the Polaroid and basically let go. If I press the shift key, it centralizes it at the same time. So at this stage, you can see that the image is big enough, so I don't need to free transform it uh, as far as the kind of the, um, uh, to fill the frame is concerned. That's because we've made it to actually fit the resolution that we shoot the majority of the time. But it is on top of the Polaroid instead of underneath. So if I want to uh, just uh, pretty much just kind of bring it below, then all I've got to do is basically drag it to the uh, uh, below the actual Polaroid peel effect and things. This is like a 5, 4, 10, 8 kind of look of peel and things really. And, and to be fair, that's pretty much it. Now it depends on exactly what else you want to do to the image. So in other words, if I just do a kind of a, a quick light, a light leak on the image, if I just kind of move the light leak up just a touch, just press OK, and then perhaps we add in the uh, fog as well, but we just kind of really knock that back quite a lot. And uh, perhaps then we just add in a kind of a, a, a kind of an effect over the tops for some grain. So let's just kind of drag a background on top. Now remember, majority of the time this can can be all actioned uh, as far as the uh, the kind of the image is concerned. All right, this is just going to be affecting the image below. So I'm just going to actually uh, click onto that uh, Alt key just uh, between the two and it's only going to affect the image. Then obviously just choose a kind of a blend mode effect to give you the look and feel that you want. Uh, color burn looks magnificent. In fact, I've never used that before for this effect, but I'm going to now. And uh, basically we'll just uh, kind of change the opacity down just a little bit. If I want to, um, kind of just blur this texture just a little bit more I can uh, right click and convert this to a smarter object anyway yep and then I can just go up into filter blur and Gaussian blur it just to take a little bit of uh, the texture away perhaps so it's there but not full on and then if I still want to have a little bit of control BDX uh, brush default black on top uh, white on top uh, X to swap them around and then perhaps I just go in and just kind of paint back the face just a little bit. Let's just bring down the opacity to 20% by uh, pressing the 2 on the keyboard. So this is putting, or protecting I should say, uh, some of the skin effect and things there. So um, again, uh, a simple technique but really looks effective. Uh, again, if I was looking to probably uh, present it as a portfolio kind of presentation with it. I'll probably extend the white bore, uh, the border on here just a little bit more. But that is how we um, add an image to the likes of a film effect. Mm -hmm.